Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, I'm Gloria, I'm a fourth year demo student at Tops. Today I would like to tell you how to study for the DAT for pretty much the nth time. I get a lot of these um, like questions on DMs or just in real life, like how do you study for DAT? And I feel like I already have like my script ready. So since today I only have 10 minutes to film before I run more errands, I thought I would talk about it today. Today's a good day to do it. So it's been you know, almost five years since I've taken the DAT. But my tips are still relevant because those who follow my advice have scored at least 20 and have gotten into dental schools. So yes, you want to pay attention. Ta-da! This is my score sheet. It says I took the exam on March 10th, 2016. <laughs> That's a long time ago. Anyways, uh, I guess you can't really see with this blinding light, but my scores are right here. Ta-da! Anyways, how did I study? The number one thing I started out by doing was content review. I um, never quite understood organic chemistry in undergrad. Gen chem maybe, but by that point, like I haven't taken these courses in like four years. I like forgot all of it. So I started out by watching Chad's videos on organic chemistry and general chemistry on Course Lever. I think it's like a three month subscription that you pay like 50 bucks. Uh, and I pretty much like wrote down every single quiz questions I got wrong just in case that I don't want to pay for another three months worth of subscription so I did that and I took detailed notes on everything he said and Chad is amazing uh, you know I kind of wish that he taught my college courses because uh, I think he taught it like really really well <laughs> now I understood why the questions were the way they were and I really highly recommend by starting out with Chat's videos. And then I went on to memorize the AP Bio Cliff Notes 3rd edition. I think it's free. Uh, there's a free PDF out there, so I'll link it down in the description box and uh, you guys can memorize the crap out of it. I really memorized all of it and it's kind of like I kind of reserve the memorizing time of my study schedule to like dinner time because that's when I start to get tired and I can memorize but I don't want to like think too much. And I think that's like the perfect time for you to be studying bio and then maybe review first thing in the morning to double check if you've memorized anything in the morning. So I believe that if you really want to memorize something, like I would write it down and I would like review something before I go to bed and then I would kind of check first thing in the morning when I wake up like hey like it's still set in my head, you know? Anyways, so I did that. And then I went on to do DAT Destroyer by uh, Orgoman. It's a very thick booklet of like Gen Chem, O Chem, Bio and Wow, they were so challenging, um, but I think it really helped me get faster at doing good problems. So for example, I think for one orgo problem, like it was really like three questions, but like combined into one problem. So it was very time consuming. I think I had the toughest time getting through like the first 57 questions, but then afterwards I remember it getting easier and easier. So I highly recommend if you have the time, but I think DAT Destroyer is not a must compared to other materials. So if you are running out of time, I think you can skip this step because a lot of people, I think, bought the book but never got to finish it. And the number one resource I recommend is the DAT Bootcamp. So it has everything. It has the PAT reviews, all the little quizzes to kind of like help you kind of build the spatial like reasoning and they have like math sections and they have the best explanations as to like every question, like why you get this question wrong. And I did all the practice tests, uh, I think three days before my real DAT and I don't recommend it, <laughs> uh, but that's what I did. And actually I spent more time reviewing the questions I got wrong on the test than like looking at the questions I got right or like just like moving on to the next practice test. I think you kind of miss the whole point if you don't understand why you got certain questions wrong. And I think once you can recognize the patterns of like every question on the exam and you understand exactly what it is asking for, I think that's a really good start for you to be like, okay, I think I'm getting the hang of how to prepare for this exam. So I highly recommend that when you take the practice test, they're very close to the real thing. I will set aside a schedule where you do one practice test and you have you dedicate the next day to pretty much like review the whole thing. Like totally understand why you got that question wrong because it's gonna come back. And that's pretty much how I studied. Uh, for reading comprehension, I didn't really do much because I think studying for the MCAT a long time ago like already prepared me well to read complex things and try to figure out what the heck it is. <laughs> but if you are a slow reader, I recommend also going through the bootcamp um, sections. I only did the practice, like the science sections on the bootcamp, but I think 
all around, it is probably the best resource you can start with. Um, but you do have to memorize and you do have to do content review and those that's when Chas videos and the Cliff Notes AP Bio 3rd edition kind of come into play. And that's pretty much what I did. I went, went over the whole thing in 7 weeks which was very intense. I think most people started for like 10 weeks. But I've also seen people do it as short as like 5 weeks so it really depends on like your motivation. So this is my school report from my first DAT uh, attempt. I wish I took math more seriously because I got 18 on it, which lowered my average score, but that's fine. I think overall I was pretty happy with what it was, and I actually did take it again, um, hoping that it would be higher, but I actually ended up scoring pretty much about the same, so I, I think it's just better to just take it once and just do that one well. So I postponed mine I think twice uh, by like a week. And I think leading up to the exam, like one week before, I put in like 18 hours of studying per day, which I don't recommend. But if you're a crammer like me and you're more productive leading up to it, like I said, go ahead and do it. I also like, ate very bland food and ate like enough to like not feel hungry like a week before the exam because I didn't want anything to affect my performance. I didn't want to upset my stomach. I kept everything bland. When I say bland, I mean like I literally had Subway sandwiches every day for a whole week. And then I treated myself afterwards. So yeah, I wish you guys best of luck. Bye bye. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel and like this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.